boat park here in Dubai, where I'm going to unveil our new dive boat project. So you can see it's there behind me. We're going to take the covers off now. This is the first um, broadcast we're making with this, this boat. It's a project. I bought it secondhand uh, a few weeks ago. And on Sunday, I should have my registration complete because we'll get the transducer fitted by the Coast Guard. And then we'll start the work of making her into a dive boat. She's currently rigged up for fishing. So let's have a quick look. Peter's there. Let's take the covers off, Peter. So she's 28 foot long or eight and a half meters. Um, it's not new. I bought it second hand. I didn't have the budget for a new boat. Um, this was sold by a gentleman who was in need of some cash quite quickly. The boat is, is less than a year old and the engines have less than 45 hours on the clock. So I was very, very lucky to be the first around to see the boat and I made an offer on the spot which was accepted later in the day. She's a, what we call a classic sort of Arabian Gulf fishing hull, um, specifically designed for the short chops we can get, or short high chops we can get here. The boat is pretty well equipped. Um, it comes with a trailer, which is like new, as you can see. That's a registration number for the trailer. So I've been looking for a, a fast boat. You know, the followers of the channel will know that I have the Coronet, which we dive um, a lot off and will continue to dive. But some of the sites are a long way away. And with Coronet, it means it's really a long, long journey. And there's some sites I want to get out to and film. So I thought, right, let's get them. Um, a faster boat so this boat's in immaculate condition you can see the cover that peter's taking off um, the gentleman who owned it you know spared no expense um, but you can see here look at these i mean i personally would never have put 150 horsepower engines on the back of this boat i would have put hundreds but i'm not complaining because with these bad boys this boat is gonna go fast um, the boat is made by a company called White Marine in Ajman I don't know them but the quality looks looks pretty good so we'll just climb up onto the boat There we go, and I'm on. So, just give you a... Whoops, sorry about that. A quick tour. So, whoops. There's a, there's a nice seat here. This won't, won't stay like that. Those cushions will be off, and we'll be putting in a four-tank dive, dive rack in the front there. We're just designing it at the moment. Whoops, I'm losing control of this a bit. Hold on, people. So it comes with a pull-out sunshade, which we'll appreciate in the summer. Nice seat here. We can actually store spare tanks down here. There's another seat underneath here, which we'll keep safety equipment in. Currently is, is, is life jackets, which we will move up here on a tea bag type, type system. We've got um, Garmin Echo, I think it's a nine inch Echo Sounder and GPS. Um, we will fit a second one, a second um, Echo Sounder, because I like to have two Echo Sounders when I'm, I'm trying to find Rex and positioning myself on Rex. 
We come to the back. Very nice seat, as you can see here. One thing I've got to address very, very quickly are the batteries. They're too low down. They're not in a box and they're just secured with styrofoam. But all in all, all in all, I'm quite pleased with the purchase. I'm definitely pleased with the price that I paid. Um, it was a very, very big discount um, from what it cost new. So that's it. That's the unveiling of the new dive boat. She's called Lulu One. That was her previous name. And I'm not going to change the name. I don't believe in changing the name. So Lulu is Arabic for Pearl. So she's Pearl One and she's going to stay as Pearl One. We've got a bit of work to do. We've got to put a diving ladder on. We've got to make the tank racks. Um, I want to put some safety rails up on the bow. So when we're anchoring and stuff, you can see it's quite a low freeboard there. Whoops, I've just hit my head on the rack <laughs> on the on the sunshade. Quite a low freeboard. So we'll put some safety rails up at the front. We'll fit a winch up at the front because we don't want to be hauling up heavy anchors and chain after we've been diving. We'll also um, fit some carpet. Um, it's got a nice non-slip deck, but I like carpet. You know, it, it's better for anti-slip. It's cooler in the summer. It doesn't get as hot. Plus, if tanks and weights drop down, they don't damage the deck. So really, that's it. That's some um, Lulu One. The new project fast boat. Um, I'll be updating as we make the modifications when we do the sea trials, that sort of thing. But I just thought everyone would like to see the boat before we get started and put her in the water. As I say, Sunday from Sunday we should be on able to go on the water. We'll have the Coast Guard transducer fitted. We'll have the final registration paperwork, and off we go. So thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Any visitors to Dubai, you never know. You might get to go out in the boat with us and my diving buddies. So please subscribe, give it a like, and we'll keep you updated. More videos coming very, very soon.